There are many inventions out there that make our life so much easier. And one of it is tape. Whether it's duct tape, masking tape, or scotch tape, they all do one job, and that is to make our lives so much easier. You're probably wondering who the first person to invent tape was. Well, there's two sides of the story, so let's take a look. There once was a man named Socrates Duct who lived in Greece back in 400 BC. One day, Socrates found a hole in one of his walls that was letting all the wind come in. Socrates decided to go out into the forest to collect some wood to fix up the hole. While he was doing the job, he got some pine sap stuck onto his toga. When he got home, he ripped out the sticky part of his toga and stuck it over the hole in the wall. And just like that, he fixed his hole in the wall. The second part of the invention of tape was created in Minnesota by a sandpaper manufacturer named Richard Drew. Richard Drew was born on June 22, 1899 in Minnesota. It all started when he was testing sandpaper at an auto body shop. He noticed the painters were struggling to paint straight borders between two colors. He left the shop with an idea for an alternative. Richard went through several trials in lab, experimenting with different elements. At first, 3M Management, which is an American multinational conglomerate corporation, encouraged Richard, then discouraged Richard about the idea when his trials of making the tape failed repeatedly in lab. Drew thought to himself that the tape he was making had to be strong enough to hold, easy enough to remove, and not get crumbled up to itself when rolled. One by one, Drew found solutions. The masking tape hit the market in 1925, followed up with the transparent scotch brand cellulose tape that Richard also created. The tape that Richard created were used in homes, medical facilities, construction, and business settings worldwide. It was used from fixing lampshades, to patching up cracks in turkey eggs so the chicks could survive until hatching, to taping back a dollar bill. The cellulose tape that Drew invented has changed over time. It now comes in different designs and sizes. Not only the tape is sticky around the sides, but now it's sticky in the middle too. Sadly, Richard Drew died on December 14, 1980 in Santa Barbara, California. You probably never thought of this, but tape has helped us a lot in our lives. Without it, we would be spending more money than we ever had to buy the things to replace the broken things that we once had. But instead, tape has helped us to repair them. Think about it. If you cut yourself, what would you use to cover up your cut? What would you do if you wanted someone to shut up? What would you do if all your homework sheets were ripped off? So life would be hard, wouldn't it?